and welcome again to La Coquette. Summer's not over yet, so I have a fresh recipe for you. Today we're making popsicles. We have two fun and unique flavors which will surely stand out from all the pops you've had so far. The ingredients are below this video and on the blog. Also, I'll be using these colorful popsicle molds, but if you don't have any, no worries. Keep watching and I'll tell you how to make them with things you surely have at home. Here we go! Our first secret flavor is... Blueberry Basil Ginger Pops! Wait, what? Yup, you heard it! Basil! Although you may usually see it in pasta sauces, this fabulous herb infuses yumminess to sweet things as well. I'll be using fresh basil leaves from my plant friend and roommate, Basil. First, we'll stir in the water and sugar in a small pot and bring them to a boil to create what some call simple syrup. Add your basil leaves and leave them until they get smaller and old looking. Oh, and add a little bit of lemon juice. Afterwards, strain your basil leaves with a fork. Now we're going to puree our blueberries with a beater, a food processor, or a masher. Pour in the basil liquid and add the ginger. Blend. And voila! It's ready to be poured into molds. But let's not forget our second recipe. Our second secret flavor of the day is strawberry lavender lemon pops. Yep, yet another plant on our fresh treats. Trust me, it gives it a wow touch. Start by boiling milk, honey, and the lavender in a pot as if you're making tea. Mmm, I feel like I'm at a park with these wonderful lavender smells. When you see your lavender turn brownish, bring down the fire and strain it. So you're going to grab your strawberry pieces and you're going to put them in the food processor. We're going to leave some behind so we can have chunky bites for our popsicles. Before pouring in this yummy mix, add your small strawberry pieces. And ta-da! We'll stick these in the freezer for five to six hours. While we wait for them to freeze, we have some really cool news to share. Next week, La Cuquet will be attending this year's LA Food and Wine Festival as a Me Too Network's ambassador. I'll have many fun stories, especially yummy stories, to share with you after it's over. So make sure you subscribe. Do not miss one of the hottest and trendiest food events of the year, featuring celebrity chefs, new food products, and the best restaurants in town. After five or six hours of waiting, they're finally done. As you can see, I've also made popsicles out of an ice cube tray and also a small jar. For your stick to remain in the center, you can hold it in place with aluminum foil. Finally, help your popsicles slide out smoothly by using hot tap water. Our frozen treats are ready to be enjoyed, but hurry, they'll melt! Subscribe to see more yummy recipes and see you next time on La Coquette!